Whenever we open up a new game of Football Manager, our attentions immediately turn to transfers, looking to pick the next big star who will guide us to glory. Every year there are a selection of players who Football Manager consider to be wonder kids with high potential, and every year they get some right and get some wrong. Let's take a look at some of the players Football Manager 2010 considered to be wonder kids and where they are now. Because we're positive people, we're going to start with the success story and Felipe Coutinho. Back in the 2010 edition of Football Manager, the Brazilian was a mere boy at 17 years old, sitting on loan at Vasco da Gama after he'd been bought by Inter Milan in 2008 for 4 million euros. Despite his age, Football Manager had spotted the potential of Coutinho and he would finally link up with his Inter Milan teammates in the summer of 2010 after two years on loan in Brazil. In 2017, we know just how right FM were about the little magician, with Coutinho tearing Premier League defences to pieces at Liverpool, so much so he's a wanted man. With Neymar heading to PSG, Barcelona have cited Coutinho as the man to replace him, as Red fans sit and ponder why the Catalan Giants have to ruin all the nice things they have. Why couldn't they have done something useful and signed Ricky Lambert all those years ago? From a Brazilian hit to an Argentinian miss, it's Mauro Formiga. Blackburn fans look away now. The attacking midfielder was one of football manager's gems in 2010 while playing for Newell's Old Boys. One year later he was in the Premier League showing Blackburn fans exactly why he was more of a germ than a gem, despite scoring on his Premier League debut. On arrival, Steve Keane described Formiga as a young Gabriel Batistuta, but the only similarities were that they both played for Newell's Old Boys, were both Argentinian and young at some point. After his career in England died a death with Blackburn in the Championship, Formiga is now in Mexico playing for Pumas, having spent the last four years at Cruz Azul. The story of John Bostock is an intriguing one, and it all started when football manager described him as a wonder kid in the 2010 edition of the game. Ok, that's a lie, it started in 1992 when he was born and then when he joined Crystal Palace as a youngster, but anyway, by the time Football Manager 2010 rolled around, Bostock had already made his debut at the age of 15 for Palace, joined Tottenham Hotspur and was about to embark on his first loan spell away from White Hart Lane, joining Brentford for a month. After that he had loan spells at Hull, Sheffield Wednesday, Swindon Town and Toronto before being released by Spurs in 2013. The midfielder then headed to Belgium to play for Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank at Royal Antwerp, then joined OH Leuven before heading to France in 2016 to play for RC Lens, where he was named League 2 Player of the Year in his first season. An interesting career, but maybe not the one football manager expected him to have. While Bostock has managed to forge out a decent career for himself despite his early struggles, the same can't be said for our next football manager wonder kid, Ravel Morrison. The midfielder made his first team debut for Man United in 2010, when it looked like footy manager had got it spot on about the Manchester local. Seven years on and he's neither a wonder nor a kid. No matter which club Ravel Morrison has been at, it hasn't worked. Christ, even Sir Alex Ferguson couldn't get him firing. Whether it was Man United, West Ham, Birmingham, QBR, Cardiff or strangely Lazio, Morrison just hasn't cut the mustard. We've looked at three flops on the bounce, so let's do some quickfire success stories and give Football Manager credit where credit's due, because back in 2010, they predicted bright futures for Romelu Lukaku, Eden Hazard, Marco Verratti, Thiago Alcantara, Willian, Angel Di Maria, Douglas Costa, James Rodriguez, Nicolas Otamendi and Tony Cruz. And that is quite an impressive list of players. But while those 10 players have shown they can thrive at the top level of football, there are the likes of Jeremy Halan, who despite being with Manchester City in 2010 while football manager penciled him in as a wonder kid, is now retired from the game at 25, having left Sheffield Wednesday in September of last year to focus on religion. And while we're not saying that religion isn't important to some people, footy manager probably didn't rate him so high because of religious potential, or maybe they did, that would be weird. Or what about Nathan Delfonso? Football manager weren't alone in jumping the gun and propelling Nathan Delfonso to the top, FIFA did exactly the same. I've had many a Champions League winning career mode where the quick and powerful striker has led the line for me, but in 2017 it's League One rather than the Champions League for Delfonso. The forward made 31 Premier League appearances for Villa, scoring just twice, but wouldn't actually leave Villa Park permanently until 2014, when he joined Blackpool after two loan spells there. A man who has clearly struggled for a home in football, Delfonso is back at Blackpool for a fourth time now, having also played for Burnley, Leicester, Coventry, Blackburn, Bury and Swindon during his career. Another man who was tipped for huge things not only by football manager was Harris Vukic. The Slovenian was regarded as one of Europe's top talents when he joined Newcastle in 2009, with Vukic also believed to have underwent a trial at AC Milan. 
Vukic sat alongside a long list of potential wonder kids on Football Manager 2010, and like so many of them, flopped. A career derailed by injury, it's hard to believe that Vukic was still a Newcastle player until this summer, making just seven league appearances for the Magpies during his eight and a half years at the club, in which he had loan spells at Cardiff, Rotherham, Rangers, Wigan and Bradford. At 24 years old, Vukic is now with FC20 in Holland, miles away from being the star football manager and so many others thought he would be. And finally, let's give a mention to Mario Balotelli. In Football Manager 2010, Super Mario was one of the players with the most potential as a 20 year old at Inter Milan. In 2017, he's with Nice, having been binned by Inter Milan, Man City, AC Milan and Liverpool. You sometimes wonder where it's gone wrong for Mario Balotelli and why he isn't a world class striker at a top European juggernaut. Then you remember he once struggled to get a bib on during a warm up, threw darts at youth players, went to a woman's prison in Italy to have a look around, crashed his car within days of joining Man City while carrying five grand in cash because he's rich, and set his house on fire by letting off fireworks indoors the day before a Manchester derby. Then it all seems to make sense. So that's where some of Football Manager's 2010 wonder kids are now. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check out our newest channel HITC7s.